Hey, it's Shep and Nick here at the Sun Valley Auto Club. In front of us, we've got a uh, longtime resident of the Auto Club that is uh, is going to be sold. This is a 1966 Shelby GT350 uh, convertible. It's the uh, part of the continuation series. So there were four of these uh, 350 convertibles built in 1966 by Shelby. Uh, I won't go into too much of the history, a lot known about these cars out there. We're going to more focus on this car. But the short story is four were built. Uh, Shelby went off to Europe to work on the uh, Ford GT project and those were sold. And when he came back, he, he was basically wanting his car. But uh, he was told, hey, get over it, we build more. And then uh, Ford, of course, ended his, or Shelby ended his relationship with Ford. Um, but he just never really got over this particular car. He really wanted it back. So in the 80s, uh, he and a builder, Jay Brunk, Hollywood Mustang, um, finally settled on building 12 uh, continuations. So. Um, they were able to do so because Shelby was the original manufacturer and they still had their, their license. Um, so they were able to renew that and then the project started. They settled on uh, finally building 12. This is one of the 12. And so they found 12 uh, six cylinder bodies. So the frames weren't torqued from a V8 and uh, just went to town on the project. Shelby uh, kept four for his uh, estate and his kids, which they still have, and Shelby's is in the uh, museum in Vegas. Uh, the builder got four, and then to recoup cost for the project, four went to the open marketplace. So this is one of those four. We do have uh, a copy of the, the original sales agreement that they go over all the specifics of really just like hey when this car is done you've got 24 hours to make payment or we're going to sell it to somebody else uh, but this one was bought paid for and the big thing is we'll open up the engine bay um, it's the only one out of the 12 that came with the e paxton supercharger so that makes it a one of one this one was uh lived in washington for a long time uh, with the original owners and then it made its way um, without being titled, without the title being held. It was just on an open title, and that's when we found it um, and was purchased. So uh, 10,900 uh, miles on it, and those are original. It's got the 289, it is a K-code, Shelby uh, Source 12 uh, K-code motors. And, um, and then this one had the Paxton Supercharger put on it. So very original car. Not much has changed on this car since it's been built. It's been stored and then driven, uh, driven uh, probably about 2,000 miles in the last six years or so. So they're all either blue with white stripes or white with the blue stripes. I think out of the 12, only 10 were actually uh, built. I don't think Jay Brunk finished out his build out of his allotment of the four. So out of the 12 that were built, um, uh, all of them had automatics except two. So this one's the automatic 289 K-code and they all had the deluxe interior or the, the pony package. And it's all original interior. And to get to the, to make it an actual continuation, so this one's VIN number is the um, SFM6S, and then the continuation is 2389. And in order for them to actually have a sequential run number that matched up with 66, the manufacturer had to use 95% uh, original parts from 66. So amazing piece of automotive history and this one is just in phenomenal condition. We do have records of 
uh, a complete engine rebuild to the tune of uh, $13,000. We've got receipts on that. So there is the that supercharger. Yeah, the high performance 289 with that Cobra supercharger on it. And that supercharger was rebuilt, completely gone through uh, with the engine rebuild. And that was done uh, with Paradise Wheels in California, fully documented. And I'll say too that the this car, the, the ownership, the VIN numbers, um, historical documents, is really easy to it's very clear it's not easy to prove but because it is clear and we have the documents it's it's a very clear linear history on this car so very original rebuilt engine but no modifications have been done on the next video we will do a uh, a test drive start up do the lights and also show the, the top operation. <clears throat> the top is, is new. It's a Hartz convertible top and it does have the upgrade of a real glass back window versus the plastic. So certainly this video is just showing you the overall good condition no cracks this has been stored indoors climate control its whole life all the lights work within the doors no rips and tears the body's phenomenal certainly rust free we've got a bunch of under under photos and this does come with two sets of wheels and we'll get photographs of those yeah that tack's amazing huh nick yeah i'm trying to get it clear clear picture for it. it's super cool there it goes yeah just excellent condition um do you know why this car is getting sold well we have a new entry <coughs> into uh <laughs> the the non-sellable <laughs> side into uh the collection and that singer is right there uh that this has been on the uh chopping block for a while <laughs> kind of part of the deal of getting this car and uh it's just finally come time to uh, make room. Winter's coming on. And so this car, I am surprised that it ever be sold, um, but it is. And uh, yeah, we're serious about getting it sold. Great piece of American uh, automobile history. Ready for the next owner to enjoy. And it's just ready for the road. This is the car that helped me understand Shelby uh, going 95 miles an hour just completely planted to the asphalt and with those low back chairs just my shoulders head was just rearing back it just even had more to give at, at 95. uh this is gone in our uh no speed limit uh tour de force event that we run every summer uh this one's gone up over 130 miles an hour so it's it's got more than just the name it really helped me understand uh, the Shelby craze, knowing that you can go that fast in a Mustang, where t a typical Mustang, I'm going about 50 miles an hour, and I just feel like I'm gonna go off the road <laughs> at any point. So that's Shelby for you. This is a gorgeous car, no rust, very complete. And then make sure you watch our next video, and we'll get into the operation we'll do a test drive turn on the engine take a listen uh, thanks for watching this video contact us for all the under photos um, other videos documentations etc uh, this is Shep and I've talked my way through it Nick <laughs> but we got Nick here as well uh, thanks for watching see you in the next video